Hello, coming to you from Lahore, this is Indus News. I'm Mukhar Rizvi. These are the top stories. At least 10 Afghan civilians have been killed and 13 others wounded in a bomb blast in eastern Paktika province. Earlier, 21 members of Afghanistan's security forces were killed in Taliban attacks on the western Badlis province. Meanwhile, at least 30 Taliban fighters were killed in U.S.-led airstrikes in southern Helmand and northwestern Faryab provinces. Moving on, Bangladesh's Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has excluded her Awami League Election Alliance partners from a new 47-member cabinet. Bangladesh now has a one-party cabinet for the first time since 1996, following the Awami League's victory in elections marred by violence and irregularities. Its biggest election ally, the Jatia Party of former President Hossein Mohammad Irshad, has joined the opposition benches of parliament. Meanwhile, Israeli warplanes and helicopters have launched multiple attacks on Palestinian freedom fighters in the Gaza Strip. A military spokesman said that the attacks were launched on Hamas camps in northern Gaza after a rocket was fired into Israel. Hamas said that its forces were unharmed by the Israeli air raids. Meanwhile, Israeli forces have detained seven more Palestinians in overnight raids in the occupied West Bank. Next, the U.S. has said that it wants Turkey to protect a Kurdish militia in Syria, which Ankara considers a terrorist organization. Speaking in Israel, National Security Advisor John Bolton said that he would seek guarantees from Turkey's President Tayyip Erdogan in talks today. Meanwhile, Kurdish-led rebels have advanced to besiege the last two towns in eastern Syria controlled by ISIS. Turkey has been massing forces ahead of an operation to expel Kurdish fighters from the area. And police in the West African Republic of Gabon have thwarted a coup attempt by a group of military officers. Ministers said that the mutineers were arrested after they seized a radio station and announced they had deposed President Ali Bongo.